and it's not just Ukraine. The whole world is going to be affected with it. And we will feel already in, in the next upcoming months how the economy the world economy is going to struggle. In today's video, we're going to have a look at how the Ukraine war after three months is still affecting massively the economic outlook for the rest of Europe and pretty much the whole world. As we know, there's a lot of money being sent in from governments all across the world, the likes of uh, Biden's plan to send in 40 billion worth to try and supply Ukraine, which is Europe's biggest country, with enough weapons and aid to try and fight the Soviet issues. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about the whole conflict and war because that's not really what this channel is about. We're going to more focus on the economic side of things, which leads me to a video that Klitschko had done on CNBC. Everyone around the world knows how big of a boxer he is, but the fact that he's actually out there fighting in Ukraine and being the media spokesperson, I think, is, is commendable. And in today's video, we'll watch part of that interview and we'll make our own synopsis at the end. What is the crack everyone? Welcome back to Bio I hope of course you're all well. Uh, not going to be my normal jokey self, there's, there's nothing funny about this situation. There hasn't been obviously anything funny about this situation. We're now three months into a war that people thought, oh, it'll be over and done with in a couple of weeks. That is not the case and the Klitschko's interview that I watched it made me really go, wow, we're, we're really nowhere near the end of this year and we do need to continue the support that's going out there. The economic you know, disadvantages that the world is going to see for the generations to come, the ripples effect of everything that is going on we've talked about it on the channel it's becoming more into attrition we can definitely see the issues here and it all comes from one thing and one thing only money leaders across the world are continuing to buy oil and gas supplies from russia and i understand why they're doing that because of the dependency of most countries on gas and oil but in today's age there really isn't any need to go for it now i'm not going to push too much about going green and lithium which is what my channel is all about i'm just going to try and look at the hard evidence here if we want to win this war we're going to have to stop buying oil and gas and if we stop buying oil and gas that is going to be huge a massive massive issue that really really will you know buckle up we haven't seen anything yet kind of thing this is klitschko's video now in davos two worlds are colliding meeting each other on political side the leaders of the governments and on the economical side the leaders of business world and it's so important to work together in one front against this russian aggression and the war in ukraine because without isolation on the political side and on the economical side of Russia, these wars will keep on going. Because every cent that Russia is getting on trading, oil, gas, coal, whatever the trade is, is going to be spent on the military equipment and paid for the soldiers that fight and kill us today in Ukraine. Do you feel like your message is being heard? Europe is still buying Russian gas. And Almost gas. three months has passed since the beginning of the war. And now, eventually, the world is waking up and understands that this is not just local war or conflict. We're the largest European country. And this war is going to affect and knock on the door of every household, of every person, government, and so on. It cannot still going on it must be stopped ukraine is part of the ecosystem of the world we're providing for instance grains for africa and asia and with the blocking of the black sea we're going to have hunger in those countries so it's going to be affected on all different stages if ukraine is going to be out of the supply chain and not to forget we're largest as i said european country we are in europe and since the second world war the international law has been not broken what is your life right now what what, what are your days my life is never going to be the same as it was before february 24th no one's life is going to be the same as it was before the war we have war we're talking about europe and we're talking about Ukraine as part of Europe, but it's going to touch the world. This war can be spread out further if it's not going to be stopped in Ukraine. And that's why it is extremely important to stand on the economical and the political side against this war, against invasion of Ukraine. And the war must be stopped in Ukraine. State-owned propaganda and guided propaganda of Russia 
already announced that Ukraine is just the beginning. Chemical weapons or nuclear bombings? Hopefully not. Hopefully God forbid. Not. But could that happen? Russian on state me media already announced it. We're going to use it. Better watch. And it's not just Ukraine. The whole world is going to be affected with it. And we will feel already in, in the next upcoming months how the economy, the world economy is going to struggle, yep. how the food and hunger is going to come already. and so on. So that's why don't hesitate. Don't wait too long. Please keep supporting us. Please help us. So that's the video. It's a grim outlook. It will have huge ripple effects. And if we look on just type and type in stop buying oil from Russia in the Google, you'll see here Germany to stop buying oil imports regardless of EU sanctions. The West is still buying Russian oil. We know about the sanctions that has happened in Russia. That has been huge. It has obviously crippled the Russian economy. Regardless of the propaganda that is coming out of Russia, it is absolutely crippling them. We've got all the big major suppliers. Not that McDonald's leaving is the worst thing in the world for people, but it, it is. You can see McDonald's, Starbucks, all the big brand names that you would have in most Western countries have all pulled out and this is having a huge effect. If you think about it in the big terms, that's why we're seeing massive pullbacks on the earnings outlooks. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, they're all stopped using their platforms there. They're trying to just completely and utterly take away anything that people of Russia would maybe see as luxuries or things that they want. If you take that away from them, that maybe will turn people against Russia. Couldn't imagine what it would be like to be in Russia as a citizen, just a general public citizen. You just want this war, it wasn't anything to do with it and having everything taken away from them. My sympathy does go to a lot of Russians in that respect which maybe people wouldn't say but there's a lot of people that want this in Russia there's no doubt about it so it's not right to plan all Russian people with this brush of you know use wanted war use all the enemy that, that's not the case as we know they're being unfortunately led by propaganda but let's just look at the, the outlook here I mean EU embargo in days as Russia flags closer to Chinese China ties embargo on Russian imports within days according to the biggest member of Germany and Moscow said it is the economic ties and growing with China after being isolated from the West over its Russian invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky told global business leaders in Davos on Monday that the world must increase sanctions against Russia to deter other countries from using brute force. We can see here many of the EU members are reliant, as we know, on their oil exports. Talking about Starbucks leaving, more countries, they're all, everything is just being pulled out of Russia. And what the other fear is, is this deal with Russia and China growing stronger, more communist, more control we have massive massive issues because of the supply chain that's going on in china right now the black sea is closed the china lockdowns due to the pandemic the lag and ripple effect that china is going to have across the world we're already feeling it rates are going through the roof inflation's through the roof there's no control of it there really is no stopping it and it's only going to go get worse for the next six to 12 months in my opinion obviously the sooner the war ends the better as soon as the lockdowns in china end the better talk of taiwan against china aggression Biden's talking about stepping in and you know you don't want to go to war with China as well here so I guess the purpose of this video is anyone that thinks that this is all coming to an end the stock market bottom and where we're gonna go we've talked about the charts did my video and I'll share the link to the video we can go in and I'll tell you exactly where I feel the bottom's gonna come there's a lot more pain to come and even then that's only a rough guess I do actually if I was telling you the truth if you could see it going further than that but that tells you there's at least an over 20% of the S&P pullback to come and with all of this going on it is very obvious to me that there is a lot more pain before there's going to be any more gain so you need to prepare yourself it is a scary video to to put out there but look you, you've got to be real here and, and stop getting caught up and maybe whatever people are telling you that this is all going to be okay it's really really not i'm not trying to say get out of the stock market always be in the market in some capacity but keep your cash pile heavy that's what i'm doing i'm waiting for the time to strike we'll pick up bits as we go along and look at this video that i did um, a month ago confirmed world war three a quick coming may stocks and crypto crash safe to say that may has been brutal for stocks and crypto so on this channel what have we done to protect ourselves and you can always make money use everything to your advantage open your eyes you can see what's going on here even if you don't follow the news a lot of people don't just lose the charts 6th of april look at this it became a buy my trading course said buy what do you get you get an 80 percent return that is why you can try to look at the news and try to make heads or tails of it there's a lot of stuff that tells me where we're going to end up but the charts don't lie this became a buy on the 6th of april i did the video we bought the short and we have read it up and we're still riding it on monday when the markets were green i was buying more i was telling my discord i'm buying more shorten buying more sqq i'm buying more apple 
all the stuff that I've talked about in the video and I'll share the link to this video one more time. Get on it, watch it, it's a great video, it tells you where the bottom's gonna be. Hit the like and subscribe button, help me grow the channel, I appreciate everybody. And check out the trading course, the prices are going up in five days. This is the last time to get the prices of this. Get access to the indicators, all of that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Trade safe, peace.